Well, new tonight at six, a theft leaves a disabled veteran devastated, but his despair didn't last long thanks to a caring police officer and a community volunteer. Well, 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears shows us how a few people made a big difference for a man who had lost hope. Neither life nor many people have been kind to disabled veteran David Cornier. United States Army National Guard. Underscoring the concept of man's best friend being four-legged. I'm really in tune with animals way better than people for the most part. David's had a heart attack, suffers from PTSD, anxiety and depression. He recently lost the emotional support dog who'd been his constant companion. I had her for 17 years. She was my running partner for 17 years. He knew he couldn't go on without a dog by his side. I actually adopted her in Los Lunas, New Mexico back in December to train as my new service animal. Her name is Skunk, and this 1991 Ford pickup is their home. I'm disabled and don't basically have any family or no home per se where I consider home. And so we just chose to just wander and see some of the cool sights and never been to Vegas before. I wanted to see what the strip looked like at night and that kind of thing. And, and then <clears throat> ended up breaking down and been stranded here ever since. On February 26th, their home on wheels broke down at the shuttered Terribles Hotel Casino in Jean. I paid an outfit, a mobile outfit to come out and work on the truck and they took $700 from me and never came back and didn't fix the truck. That was March 3rd. About three days after uh, the mechanics ripped me off. Skunk was stolen from me. They'd gone for a walk, heading west across the 15 freeway to the gas station. David brought Skunk here to this enclosed pet relief area for a little bit of exercise at a time he said there was no one else around. He went into the convenience store for no more than seven minutes, and by the time he got out, Skunk was already gone. I was sick. I just... It's all I got. I got nothing else. I just have her. He asked staff at the gas station to call police. The first thing they want to do is they want to judge me because I'm a homeless person. But so I'm stubborn and I deserve better than that. So I started rattling some cages and making phone calls and finally I hooked up to a, a detective. Metro detective Todd Ashworth. It's misconstrued that unhoused individuals can't care for pets and I think that this is a perfect example that they can. Ashworth trained both pet and police dogs before joining the force. It's not just a, a dog case, it's, you know, it's a, a human case. This individual was um, obviously down on his luck and um, you know, this dog was very important to him. Shortly after Ashworth got the case, he learned Skunk had surfaced at the Rancho Cucamonga Animal Center in Southern California. The um, animal shelter scanned the dog for a microchip and it came back to the owner. Without that dog having a microchip, we would not have the dog back. But that does not mean the case is closed. The, the case is still open. The case is still being investigated. The first you know, the most important thing, the, the urgent thing, was to get the dog back in his care. Ashworth knew time was of the essence for both David. A day to me is eternity without her. And Skunk. Once I talked to him, they kind of put my mind at ease and said that they would, you know, continue to hold the dog and give me time to, to find some resources to get the dog here uh, back to Vegas. Those resources? These would be good because a, she's a puppy. Came from Las Vegas nonprofit Street Dogs. I want to help him. I mean, him and the dog, they deserve it. Street Dogs is dedicated to helping homeless people and their pets. They can still be great pet owners, and sometimes that's all they have. Brianna Maxwell. That's a cute best friend. Volunteered to drive to California. Bone. And bring Skunk home. I saw the dog take off and run directly for him. And she was a puppy, she's only four months old, so for her to know him that well, they must be really close. And he just grabbed her and started crying and held her. And it was so sweet. Just felt like finally something right had happened. 
but I mean, without her, I'm nothing. Facilitating the reunion is only a fraction of what Street Dogs has done. Toys and a bowl. For David and his dog. I think the bag is full. 13 Investigates was there when Brianna shared the donated yeah. bounty. Ready to see? Ready to come and see? She brought items for David. These are the clothes they packed and some towels. This is food. Super cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate everything. And for skunk. Blankets, I think a sleeping bag and some dog shoes. Including plenty to eat and play with. This is the good stuff for her. David was overwhelmed. For her to take the initiative and to get in her car and get my dog delivered back to me, I, I don't know what else. I can't thank her enough. With skunk safe and back in his care, he can now focus on what comes next. I need to get my truck fixed somehow. I don't know how. My final destination is the Pacific Northwest. I grew up in Washington State and up in that country, and I just, I don't ha necessarily have a place to call home, but if there is one, that's it. The tide is continuing to turn for Skunk and David. Metro's homeless outreach team put them in touch with help of Southern Nevada and got them into temporary housing at this motel in Henderson. Grab and go towing brought David's truck here free of charge. The only thing left is to get it up and running so that he and his companion can continue their journey. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.